When I was in um, Los Angeles, I was interviewed on a chat show. And um, the interviewer said, where do you get all your ideas from? And I said, well, they bring them to me. A lot of people bring ideas. I buy them. I listen to them. And if they're any good, I'll write them. And the next day at my hotel, they called through from reception to say a woman had come to see me. She was a journalist. And I knew I didn't have an appointment with a journalist. But anyway, I said, OK, she can come up to my room. And she looked extraordinary, the woman. She had dyed hair. She was in a kind of bright red Mac. And she had white high heel shoes on. Very badly made up face. And she said, uh, I saw you on television. Um, and I've got a story to tell you. I mean, I, I didn't even say, how did you find me? How did you know which hotel I was staying at? There was something about her. She, she kind of quite frightened me, actually. She was very dangerous. So I said to her, well, you have to tell me in a few sentences why I would want to do your story. And she said, OK. So she said, uh, you ready? And I said, I'm ready. She said, I was a lieutenant in the LAPD murder team, but I was also an alcoholic. And I got fired for drunkenness. I shot a young boy by accident. And I ended up on the streets. Um, and I became a prostitute. And <laughs> she said, that's my story. And I said, well, that is some story. She said, yeah, I got the cold shoulder. So there's the book. To describe the real Lorraine Page is quite difficult, but obviously that's not her name. Um, when I said earlier that I found her quite scary when I first met the real person, uh, it developed into even more worrying a relationship. She was very <laughs> unsavory, really. But she was, at the same time, as I chipped away to try and find out who she was, there was a kind of genuine lostness to her. She knew she'd lost her children a husband that she loved, um, and she drunk it away. She maintained throughout that she had not shot the boy and that the officer with her said to her, open fire. Um, but he wasn't carrying a gun. It was a Sony Walkman in his hand. Uh, she swore to me that she was clean, that she wasn't using drugs or alcohol, but she was a liar. Um, she put me in very dangerous situations. She took me to a crack house in the middle of Orange County and left me there for five hours. Uh, but at the same time, she would become very apologetic, and then she'd clean herself up, and we would have long sessions talking, giving me more and more facts for the novels. The only time she became very, very agitated was when I went into the precinct where she'd worked. Um, she didn't like it at all. And I said to her, but I have to go in to ask you know, questions about you know, how you got the cold shoulder, how you were fired. She kept on saying, you don't have to. Anyway, when I did go, I chose for her not to be privy to me even going into the building. And as a result, learned that an awful lot of what she told me was lies. Um, she was in a much worse condition than she'd ever really admitted to me. And it was, again, that worry about being able to trust someone and be with them for so many hours. 
What's really, really exciting now is that Cold Shoulder, Cold Blood and Cold Heart were written some time ago. And I remember the first editions had the most wonderful colored um, covers. They had a face and a gun and each one had a different color, but the gun to her face. And when they said at Simon & Schuster they were going to republish them, it was very exciting, but um, I, I, I said, oh, are we going to have the same covers? And they said, no, 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 no. And I love these new covers because they give a new energy to the books. Um, and that's terribly important. It gives you such an energy, and I'm so pleased that people are re connecting with Lorraine Page. And it means that, it's, I think, possibly, we've had um, a few calls from America to say they'd like to do a series of her, and outrageously in Paris. They want uh, a French Lorraine Page. So we shall see. But the new book covers are wonderful from Simon & Schuster. Very exciting for me.